Greetings, foolish mortals. Tis I, Cat, aka Blackman Rose 13, here to talk about. I can't believe I'm talking about it. Me, of all channels. YouTube Rewind. And, okay, so I've never really commented on these things at all. I watch them, I go, oh, wow, a lot of people I don't recognize. Oh, why are those people still there? I have haven't heard about them except for those controversies. You know, <clears throat> those kind of things. But um, I, I just want to talk about YouTube Rewind. They played it safe. They did basically a, mo they did a, mo a mojo uh, top ten list kind of deal. And I couldn't relate to any of it. Old man yells at cloud gif right here. It's not going to be right here. I'm not editing that well. I'm just going to put in pictures of my cat. People like cats. Anyway, so, how do I word this? I think it was an easy kind of cop-out. Well, the cop-out, safe, question mark way to do rewind. I mean, rewinds used to be good. I mean, I was never the biggest fan of rewinds, like I've said, but they used to be good. Music was good, at least. Anyway, but... As I was watching a, a uh, video about Rewind uh, by Mr. Gigi, of all people, I watch him for his crazy reviews things and talks. And that one video where he talks about all the forbidden words of YouTube. Anyway, I'll, I'll get on that later. I just... How do I word this? I, when I was watching him talking about him, him pointing out where it was slowly declining and all that just I can understand it. But I think I have another theory myself on why YouTube Rewind, as of late, has gone down the toilet in likes, as in no one likes them. Well, a major p part of it don't like it. So, well, actually, two theories, really. Uh, theory number one, and someone else pointed out going, well, they never talked about, like, all the events that are ha current events. And I go, well, YouTube Rewind isn't about that. It's about YouTube. Now, if this was the Facebook Rewind, which they did years ago, where they did talk about world events and stuff, yeah, that makes sense. So I put that one down the toilet to be perfectly honest, because YouTube is about YouTube, not the world. I mean, yes, there were videos talking about said things, but still. Okay, so, my main theory, my big theory. Last year on YouTube, we got hit by the adpocalypses. I think that was the first year we got hit by the adpocalypse. Hold on, gonna do a research. Okay, sorry, it was 2016 when the first adpocalypse happened. I don't understand the concept of time, apparently. No. Oh. Almost four years now. Anyway, so, we have had the adpocalypses, which is a thing that us YouTube creators, yes, I am a creator, have been dealing with. Thanks, PewDiePie. But you know what else happened last year, if I remember correctly? Hold on. Gonna look that up so I don't sound like I'm an idiot? Okay, so, adpocalypse were a lot further. It just felt like a lot earlier because I'm tired and drained. So, the adpocalypses, we all remember them? Of course we do. We're still going through them. And it was the whole, you know, fucking over creators that weren't quote-unquote advertiser-friendly and screwing them over when it was supposed to be our tube, not TV tube. I'm sorry, YouTube, not TV tube, sorry. And just them, like, there's the whole controversy involving the anti-Semitic thing by PewDiePie. Yeah, remember, PewDiePie did some anti-Semitic shit. Don't forget. And then there was, like, later on, we all remember the Logan Paul incident? Was it Logan Paul or Jake Paul? Which of the Paul brothers was the one who went to Japan and offended a lot of people and did something that is a big super no-no? You know, the, you know, the suicide forest that we should not talk about. But yeah, but due to all of that bullcrap happening, I, one, lost my monetization. Thanks, because I was a small-time creator, and this is with our way to weed out the bad actors, as they called it, and I'm... Still kind of bitter about that, because I'm one, I've been on that channel since year four, <laughs> since year one of YouTube. Wait, when did I start my YouTube channel? Started actually posting up vids in 2010. Duh, I've been on this channel for ten years, I hate it. <laughs> Not really. I love you guys. And, like, we're dealing with, like, YouTubers, small-time people getting hurt a lot, frequently. Because, and yet the big time names, the Jake Pauls, the PewDiePies, the whatever the name, the James Charles, wow, you know, whatever the big time beauty bloggers were, James Charles, Jeffree Star, I don't know, getting away with a bunch of shit that we couldn't, and it was kind of starting to show the whole elitism that YouTube was ha starting to have, where if you make money, you can get away with shit, just like the real world, if you think about it, ouch, and then there was like, 
what was, there was some, a lot of other major controversial things were happening, and YouTube would not tell to us about it. YouTube stayed up there in their ivory tower, telling the big time names if they asked, if they wanted it, and most likely making them sign an NDA to not talk about it to the, you know, the public. And YouTube was up there, ivory tower and all, in Google. And they refused to talk to us. And I think around the time when we were starting to get major dislikes on YouTube Rewinds is around that time that none of us were going to take it anymore. We're not going to take it. I'm just seeing that bit. And just, I think basically when creator followers were learning that creators were getting screwed over at such a high nth degree, I think that's when the creator, when the fall, when people were like, yeah, we're sick of this bullshit. And YouTube will not acknowledge, we've done bad things. I mean, they acknowledged it in this year's one, but only because they admit, we did a bad rewind video last year. Please forgive us with this top 10 video. Ugh. And <coughs> another thing I think that is, the whole family-friendly bullshit that was happening, there was also how anything that was LGBT was being basically blocked and hidden at all. Now, the theory is it might have to do with China, but I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole. I am not a conspiracy channel. And it just, it really pissed off a lot of LGBTQA, did I cover them all, creators, and how they were just like, even if it was just like them talking about them opening up to their family about their not straightness, we'll just, we'll just say not straightness, and, you know, nice, sweet videos, and those would get demonetized and blocked, and anyone who was talking about going through depression, and they were talking about how they cope, demonetized, block, and just, like, everyone was getting really pissed off that all these big creators get away with everything, and other ones don't, and also, like, YouTube was all, like, especially during Pride Month, I remember Pride Month last year, and people getting ticked. And they got ticked off this year, where they're all like, here's us showing off our in support of our LGBTQA creators. Look at them all. We love them all. Secretly demonetizing every single video behind their back. Look at them. We are open. We are woke, everyone. And I think people are just not wanting to take the corporate bullshit anymore. That, this is just my personal opinion on the whole YouTube Rewind mass dislike happening. And now we're also, this year's year Rewind is also getting demonetized. Uh, demonetized. <laughs> I wish it was getting you know, thumbs down, is, well, the big, mean, evil thing of the government, COPA, which, thankfully, after talking to my lawyers, and by lawyers, I mean the MC, my multi-channel network lawyer, yes, I am still on the multi-channel network, even though I'm not monetized anymore, they, they still kept me, thank you, Frederator, you're, you're, you letting me have this, lets me have a good tube, buddy, I can just, they've explained it to me that I might be safe, because, Kids don't really watch videos of cre characters getting created, they or you know artwork being made. But we just have to really wait until the Copa hammer hits us all in the head. Joy. But like again, Copa's re reared its ugly head. Creators have been verbal about how bullshit it is and how YouTube is kind of sort of not talking to us again. I mean, let let, let me put it in perspective. The people who make COPA, the FTC, a government body, a government entity, is actually willing to talk and explain to us COPA and how it's going to affect us, and is actually willing to talk to people, as long as you are calm, polite, and not crazy. And so, like, what does it say when YouTube, what does it say when a government entity is doing a lot better, a government entity most likely full of a bunch of old people who don't know how to work a computer, Okay, they might know how to work a computer, but maybe not like a smartphone or a tablet. I don't know. Place your joke here. Are more willing to talk to the creators and everyone than the company that the creators work with or post up their crap for. Whatever you want to use for your terminology. <clears throat> so it's just like that alone, just like a lot of people are bitter with the Copa Hammer and the whole advertiser bullshit that's been happening for eons. Oh, my personal favorite YouTube claim which is my new favorite, uh, American McGee, creator of American McGee's Alice in Wonderland. He does videos of his video game. He technically owns all that crap. But for some reason, a know-nothing YouTuber claimed it all because his multi-channel network basically decided to do a mass claim thing. That's more of an issue with multi-channel networks, I think, because my multi-channel network, Frederator, did the same thing when the first Life is Strange came out. But after I talked and then a lot of other people talked, about how it was kind of BS. They fixed that. Thank you, Frederator. I just, 
you know, that might be a multi-channel network thing, not a YouTube thing, although YouTube's false claim reports are so wonderful. Listen, this thing is open domain. Why are you claiming it? I don't know you. Fuck you, TuneCore. You don't, aren't owned by freaking the company that owns Ca Cartoon Network. Yeah, I'm currently dealing with any of my Steven Universe videos are being claimed by this company named TuneCore, which, from the little research I can find, and trust me, I even went up, I, I, I used DuckDuckGo to f figure out if anything here. The little deep web searching I could find on them, they're just a company that sells music online, and for some reason they keep claiming anything Steven Universe. Listen, if I was being claimed by Cartoon Network, I wouldn't say a peep. I would not complain. I'm like, yes, you're right. I use Cartoon Network music. You may claim it. I give you fair go. I'm a stupid idiot. But when it's a company that's not even related to Toon related to Cartoon Network in one small tiny bit, it just Anyway, where was I talking? Yeah, focus, woman. So, yeah, I just think it's just basically people are bitter and ticked off and just they're sick of YouTube pretending that this place is a great, wonderful, wonderful society of love and acceptance and all this bullshit. And reality, you're, well, you're a company. You're a, you're, you're a conglomerate. You are, you make, you want money. I get this. I get this. We live in a society of capitalism. But when you're not telling us what the hell's going on, or being open and clear about all your terms, or admitting that you have a thing that will instantly block your instantly block your video if it has certain words or, or numbers in it, and most of them are pretty, pretty stupid. Why the hell is Brazil freaking canceled? Brazilian, I could understand, but Brazil? It's just... Uh, th that video, that's how I found Mr. Gigi, by the way, him reading the names of these it's, just, it's crazy. It's, it's stupid that YouTube refuses to admit, like, yes, we have an algorithm to screw you over. No, we're not going to talk about it. I get it. They don't want to do it because they know they most likely will piss off their fans. But right now, them not talking is ticking us off. And I think that's the major reason why any video posted up by YouTube themselves gets so many dislikes. It's not because we're angry about the content itself. We're angry about the content creator and doing all these bullshit things. Trust me, I, on the creator studio, there's these stupid videos that are supposed to help your YouTube channel grow and become strong and te teach you all the things about the YouTube stuff going on. And they pretend they're so candid. They're not. Oh, is this thing on? No, 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 lady. We, we know that's not real. Don't, don't act like this. No, you're a professional company. You would edit that bullshit out. You're just doing this to try to seem hip and with the kids and... Hashtag relatable. Just, just be professional and tell us what the hell's going on. I, I, I think that's just basically the problem. It's people are ticked, how YouTube has been behaving. And yeah, the rewind was kind of lazy and was a fairly simple cop-out. But I think YouTube is trying to keep this whole we are a great company facade when people now slowly know that it's not because we, we're, we're tired. That's why I think Rewinds have started to get downvoted a lot. Also, they've become more corporate, and they have a lot of late talk show people and celebrities on there, but I think that's a kind of an obvious given. So, yeah, that's my theory. A game theory. Buck off, MatPat. So, thanks for listening to my over 13-minute rant, and I hope you enjoy the pictures of the cats I chose. See you later, guys.